Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss the Boost libraries. Boost libraries, Boost C++ library is a third-party C++ library. It's very, very common used recently. It uh, gives uh, C++ a new lots of new features and make lots of things easier. And the, the example in this video, we are going to use Boost ASIO, a synchro I.O. library to make a simple UDP eco server. So the UDP server stands for the User Datagram Protocols. So this is the UDP servers. It's a part of an internet protocol, and this protocol, this protocol was designed in 1980, and is used for the with UDP computer application can send a message. It's used for send message. Um, in this case, this message is called a datagram to other host and system. So it's using to exchange data between the two hosts. So in, instead of uh, we did uh, for the other network protocol like a TCP, HTTP, the TCP stand for the transmission control protocol, which needed to connection uh, to the from the server to client. But the UDP, it's not it's not a hands shaking dialogue, so it's, it doesn't need a connection, and just a send to datagram to the destination, which is the server IP address and the power numbers. So the typical UDP message is a UDP datagram have the header which contains the source part, destination part, and the length of the date and the checksum to check the data messages send the integration. So to use the boost ASIO library to build a UDP application is a very, very easy. Here is the main program. This is a UDP server, we call the UDP server. And uh, this server take one argument, which is called the power number. So if uh, no argument, we or more argument, we just exit. So we need a, like a usage as UDP server and power numbers. So after that, we use the try and the catch exceptions. So to, to make, uh, UDP application and the main program is very very simple. You have to do the only three steps. First, instantiate a I/O service using the Boost ASIO I/O service to instantialize an object I/O service. Second, you make a customize the UDP server, we call the My Server, to pass this I/O service and the part number to the object object of my UDP server and starting the I.O. service. So this is very simple from the main program. So it's, now let's uh, go into the to our service. So instead of I custom my server, I have to create a class, my class called my UDP server. And this uh, class um, I have one constructor, which uh, this constructor take I/O service and the power number. And uh, after we instantialize object, we're just uh, going to here waiting for receiving my UDP receiving. And uh, this this uh, class has two methods: it's my UDP receive and my UDP send back. So it's echo server, so we receive, we send back. So when we're receiving, we use when the socket. So this, this okay, this UDP server has a four private member. One is you need a UDP socket, 
to make a connection, you need a UDP server and the UDP endpoint, which is what's the sender point, which is the sender's IP address and the power numbers. And the, the date buffer, we call the date underscore. So this is the buffer when we receive with data right to it in the, this buffer. And we give a maximum length, which is called 1024. So we have this uh, number. So when we receiving, we using the socket, a synchronous receiving from functions. So what this function does here, based on the document, so the UDP socket has two receiving method. So one is a synchronous receive, another one is a synchronous receiving from. So a synchronous receiving operation can only be used with connected socket. It's if you the connect which UDP is not a connected socket, a classic UDP. So we use a, use the asynchronous receiving from function to receiving data on an unconnected datagram socket. So this is the method we are going to use. And, and this example, how to use this method. This, this method takes three parameters. First is the boost IO, ISIO buffer, which is the data and size, take two parameters. Second parameter is the sender and point. So they, Third is the handler, which handle if we receive the data correct, not correct, after check what's receiving, we you making program to handle this. So this this handler should have taken two parameters. One is the error code, it's a boost system error code, and another is the size, which is how many bytes we received for the package. So here back to the program. So we using the receive from, we using the boost ASIO buffer, which the date underscore is the buffer. We in this yeah, this class private member, this is the buffer, and the size is the maximum length, and so we send this buffer and the center point. And uh, for the handler, if uh, everything's okay and the received byte bigger than zero, we just print the date and uh, call the method send back to send back to the client. So send back client, we're going to add create a string, add the sender, which is sender the address, send address, sender partner the message which we received and we send back using the asynchronous send to similar as a asynchronous receive from we have a buffer send a point and uh, for the handler we just uh, we did go back to making another receive so let's uh, save this program and we have to make Clean. We recompile. Okay, so now we recompile. So it's our server, UDP server, which has. Uh, we needed to get a part number. That's a one, two, three, four. So this is our UDP server started. So now let's go to another terminal. We have a UDP client, so we try to use this client. It has two argument. One is the power number, what we send, and the second is the message we're going to send. So let's say we test message one. So let's try to see. You can see our message be sent to the server and the uh, so server reply back with the part number and the 
This is a local host. We send it from local, and the message is we type the message one. So let's try to make it another message. Message two. So you can say server receive message, print out on the console, and we send back with the we type the two message at the server client center the host and the power numbers. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. You can see using Boost library, library like a third-party library, sometimes it makes sense very easy to make a UDP server and also another sense. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful and enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.